Hello and welcome to this first tutorial. In this tutorial I will show you how to start making your own game by creating your project, making a new world, adding some terrain, adding a character and then building and playing your project. Afterwards in other tutorials I will show you how to expand on that by placing other objects, making your terrain more interesting and so on. But for now we'll start with this. If you have installed Essence of Engine and you launch the edit tool this is what you will see first. It asks you where you want to keep your data files. If you already have experience with this, you would copy your data folder from SNFL to a new folder, including some other files to create your own game. But for now, we will use the default SNFL installation folder, which is location, located where you extracted it and where you uh, launched this editor. So, this is where my editor is lo located. See, ROM files. SNFL Engine Tools, this is where I launch the editor. I right click to go up a level again. Here's the data folder. We hit the data and OK. Now we will know where to get the materials from, the objects, the particle effects, and so on and so on. So when you start, you will see uh, you will see an empty empty window with a whole bunch of buttons which will be explained to you later. Now if you hold your middle mouse button you can rotate around your scene which is still pretty empty. So you will notice that you have these grids which is basically where you can add terrain to it. Which we'll do now if you press insert which is the button next to delete. If you press insert we will place chunks of terrain. This white material, it's not an error, it basically says that you have no material applied, which can be useful for making holes in your terrain. Everything with no uh, material can be made a hole. But we want to apply material, of course. So, here's your material brush. We double click on one of the empty entries, which is all of them. So, we'll just pick the first one, and you get the material window. Here you can see a preview of the material, here you can change parameters, but we're just going to load the default material from the Essential Engine. So we click File, Load. We go to the Material folder, which is MTRL, which is located in our Data folder, where we just set the path to. So that's convenient. We go to Grass, and we select this default material. And then we hit Set to apply to the brush. Now, we can't do much now, so by default it was selected with a red border around it. If it's not, you just click it once, and then you can start painting. This is a pretty small brush, so we will increase the size here, bottom right. Increase the size a bit, and we make everything grassy and nice. Now we have this. Um, I'll just quickly explain you how this viewport works. These grids are basically the terrain chunks, and you will see it will it might be smaller on your screen. Here you have the very large white border, which is basically your camera. It will only show you what's inside the camera. Now we'll just make it normal size again. We're doing it view area radius. Let's try four. Here's the camera. Everything outside of the camera, if you move by holding space and then moving your mouse, space bar and moving mouse, everything outside the camera will not be rendered. Of course, it's still there, it's just not showing. This is handy for really big worlds to increase performance. So, we have a very small area here. We want to place more chunks to make a big world, but we don't want to. We click again to go to our. Uh, terrain adding uh, mode. We don't want to add them all manually one at a time. So what we do is go to view, we go to uh, height map, excuse me, and increase the selection size. It's already bigger now. So let's do that one more time. Increase selection size and our camera is a bit small so let's go to view, area radius and increase this to 8. If you now hit insert again it will insert bigger chunks and it will use the material we used because it's active and it's in the material brush. So 
now we have some terrain but how big is this we have no idea there's nothing to compare it to and besides we wanted the character anyway so we go into the object mode or just hit 2 and then we can here load an object we go to file load we are now in the object folder which is in our data folder we go to character chr we want a human and there's only one available so that's pretty easy we you want to change this the object character type to object player so it works in the editor and then you just hit insert again you will now see a small human being so we have more an idea of how big our drains are already to make it easy to center on him because this is not really practical to rotate around you just hit control while, while having him selected you hit control tilde which is the key below escape and now it will be centered on what we have selected or where our mouse was which is nice so now that we have this we want to play test our game so if you now just do build it would tell you to save so we save our world first we'll call it test 2 these are all except for this one these are all uh, default worlds that come with the SM file engine as tests um, it's now saved we can go to builds and you'll notice a few options uh, the update visible that will only update whatever it is within the camera everything outside will not be updated it will just be like it was before the update so we do build and do clean all and build all doesn't matter in our case because it's still too small anyway we generate the train we generate pass which will be used later on not yet and now we can do world play last build we now have world with a character you can run around if you hit tab you will go and change your camera if you f you can fly and there we go in the next tutorial i will show you more on how to make a train more interesting than objects